Go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the coloring now. We got a little bit interrupted in the last video. So if you look on this horse, I'm gonna really make some of the black outline nice. There's some great outlines. I don't wanna forget to put a tail here. That's why I like doing this with crayon. You can really control the thickness of your line. Okay, some parts should be thick, some parts should be thinner, where you want it to like race along. A little bit of dark up here. If you look, the legs are pretty dark, okay? Look how they're showing space there by leaving it unfinished near the body. It, it means it's like in the background, okay? And again, you can do this at home just with crayons. I got a great crayon here. Do they still call it yellow ochre? Sometimes it's called goldenrod, okay? But it's the perfect color for this. Ooh, look at that, huh? Looks like this horse even has like a striped pattern. What do they call that when horses have spots on them? There's a special name for that. Pink. Calico or something? Yeah, some pink. A painted horse? Paint, paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's my brown. I got a nice mm -hmm. brown. Calico cut. <laughs> well, this is the letter P. I'm gonna I'll remember it when we're not filming. So here's my stripes on there. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to to color in the background. Now on this horse, you can't see the eyes or the face or anything. It's just kind of like a black outline. Put a mouth on there. And I'll put up some still photos of this when it's totally finished. But all I'm doing is I'm putting in some light color. And then when I get something I like, I go back in with a little bit of darker color. I'm even getting some orange in there. Don't forget to color in your background with something, all right? Since this horse is so bright, I, I would color in my background, maybe with a little something darker, like some maroon, okay? Remember, this like white fur under there. That's why I'm leaving that alone. So you always want to make your background as interesting as the object. And the object in this drawing is the horse. Okay. Let's look at this one. Let's see how this looks. And again, I'll put up a still photo of this when it's finished. So you could see, I want to get some more ochre in this one, or goldenrod, they call it. You should be able to get layers of color on there. All right. So there we go. This would be your horse. I'll make another video. I may have said this of the aurochs or the great ox. Okay. Thank you, guys.